welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Amethyst and I'm a first time mom to a beautiful baby girl named Elena. I make motherhood lifestyle and motivational videos here on YouTube. So if that is something that interests you, please make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss when I post new videos. I would love to have you join my vampire here on YouTube. So if you guys are coming back to my channel, then you're probably like, today's not Monday. Why is she doing a sit down video? Today's video is a little bit different. I am going to share with you guys all of my favorite things from the month of August. So I get a lot of messages on Instagram or replies to my Instagram stories about certain things that I use in my everyday routine. So I just thought this would be a really fun video and a really fun way to wrap up the month of August and just show you guys some of my favorite items, my favorite beauty products and all those types of things in this video. So let's hop right in. Before I get into my August favorites, today's video is super special because it's in collaboration with my beautiful YouTube bestie Mia. Mia is a stay-at-home mom to two adorable little boys named Enzo and Leo, and she makes motherhood and lifestyle videos over on her channel. I will make sure I leave the link to her channel in the description box. Please make sure you guys watch her video and subscribe to her channel. I know that you will love her just as much as I do. If you're coming over from Mia's channel, hey girl, I would love for you to subscribe and join my vampire here on YouTube. All right, let's get into the video. The first few things that I'm going to share with you guys are the things that I use in my everyday routine when I'm doing my Bible study because I get a lot of questions about the resources that I use and how I do my Bible study and my devotional. So I thought it would be really fun to include these items so that you guys can see them. And I, everything that I show you guys in today's video, I will make sure that if I can link it, I will link it down below or I will let you know where I got it from so that you can go and see if you can find it yourself. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my daily devotional and this is Jesus Calling and it is by Sarah Young. You guys, this is a game changer for me. So every single day there is a devotional and it, I kid you not, it's like Sarah Young knows what I'm going through in my life because the devotional always seems to really speak to me at whatever path I'm on in my life or whatever situation I'm dealing with in my life. So it, it has a devotional for every single day. So for example, I'm just going to open it up to like a date. So you guys see that? Yeah, July 2nd. And then it just has a devotional and it has passages that you can go through in your own Bible and look at that will relate to what she is talking about in the devotional. This is a game changer. I got this on Amazon. There are many different variations of this um, as far as like color. There's a pink one. There's one that is a lot bigger than this. So you can kind of find one that fits your own personality. But I would definitely suggest if you are trying to have, you know, a Bible study routine or a devotional routine that you have this this is a staple and it just really helps me I read this every morning but you can read this at night you can read it in the middle of your day because like I said it has something for every single day of the year so this is definitely a game changer you guys I will if if I can find the link I'm sure that I can but if not for this exact version I will try to find one that is similar so that you guys can go straight and buy it the next one is another devotional. It is called Ending Your Day Right and it is by Joyce Meyer. I have posted this on my Instagram stories and I always get people asking me, what book is that? What book is that? So I wanted to make sure that I included this in my favorites video. And again, this is another good devotional, but this is just something that you read at the end of your day. And she also has a version called Starting Your Day Right. I didn't know that till after I got my Jesus Calling, but I really enjoy my Jesus Calling. So I use that as my beginning of the day devotional and I use this as my end of the day devotional and again something for every single day of the year so you just turn to a page and there's your devotional and again it also it starts off with a scripture and then it starts with the devotional and again it's like she knows exactly what I'm going through in my life and exactly what I need to hear to end my day right and this also kind of sets my intention for what I'm going to pray about at the end of the day so this is another good pickup and I also believe there's different versions different sizes I think there might even be one that you can write in which would be really awesome so definitely check this out got this from Amazon as well another question that I always get on my Instagram stories or on my Instagram is what Bible I use you guys it's just a simple Bible that I got from Amazon I tried the like a lettering Bible that you color in and while it was really pretty I think it just more so distracted me because I just wanted to make the words and the pictures look pretty rather than actually reading the content and trying to grasp what the verses were saying and the scriptures were saying but this one I got from Amazon and it is the new international version and it also has 
on the sides of all the scriptures it has where you can take your notes so I thought that was really awesome and you guys will see why I don't have anything written in these margins in one second when I show you my next August favorite but for those who would like to just simply write and take notes as they're reading this is a perfect perfect bible to have I got this from Amazon also and my last thing that is part of my Bible study is my Inspired to Grace prayer journal. And this is why I do not write in my margins on my Bible because I have this. Got this from Amazon as well for, I want to say, maybe six bucks, you guys. Definitely worth it. It has a, it has a, t a good pages, a good amount of pages. And I think this is the second one that I have gone through this year. And please know that I am by no means like super consistent. I try to be consistent, but I do miss some days in my Bible study. So... I probably would have gone through way more than two books by this time this year, but I have missed some days. But I really like this because of how it is set up. So you have the date right there, and then you write down whatever the verses that you're studying for the day. You guys can see my kid colored, so maybe we shouldn't use that page because you can't really see everything. <laughs> Mom life. But it has your date the verse for the day and then you get to reflect on whatever the verse is and how it makes you feel or how your observations about it or whatever the case is then it has a prayer and then what I really loved about this is there is a gratitude section so you can write down the things that you're grateful for that day and I try to do this first thing in the morning but obviously life happens and sometimes I can't but I do try to do this first thing in the morning so this is a great supplement to your bible and to your bible study as well so moving on from Bible study and spiritual, you guys, I want to share with you, and yes, I am, I am friends with this person, but I'm not just saying this because I'm friends with her. I just love, love, love everything that she puts out. She, I have her shirt, um, and now I have her candles. So I will make sure that I leave her Instagram handle so that you guys can see all of the products that she has to offer. But her name is Victoria, and she is Mama Making Magic on Instagram, and she does the market by Mama Making Magic, and she came out with candles. Y'all, these candles smell so, so, so amazing. So I got three, and this one is probably my favorite just because I'm very much like a spiritual sage type of person, and I'm all about like getting negativity out and clearing my space and clearing my energy. So this is probably my favorite one, but she has so many. I'm gonna share three with you guys, and I love all of these. They make my house smell amazing, and as you can see, like when I show you, they're almost all gone because I burn them all the time because that is how good they smell. So the first one I got is called Serene Mama, and it is white sage and lavender. Ooh, can you guys see that? Uh, I don't really know if you can see that. Okay, there we go. So this one is white sage and lavender. And then she has another one called Georgia Mama and it is peach nectar. Whew, this one smells so, 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 so good. So good, you guys. And the next one is Mama in Paradise and it is mango plus coconut milk. She's also about to come out with, I don't know if I'm supposed to be letting you guys know this, but hopefully she won't mind. She's coming out with wax melts. I'm such a wax melt girl. I love wax melts. And when she told me this, she like did a poll on her Instagram story. And when she told me this, I was so excited and I cannot wait for her wax melts. And it, she is also a black owned business. She is a mom. So you guys support her. Um, I, like again, I said, I will leave the link to her Instagram and to her website so you guys can go shop. She has t-shirts, Mama Making Magic t-shirts that are black and yellow really cute I got that as well so you guys make sure that you support her empower her as a woman and as a mom my next thing this is something like technology related but I am so not a tech savvy person at all and so I was so surprised at how easy it was for me to use this and this is my snowball blue microphone that I use to like record my voiceovers I've seen reviews where a lot of people use this to do like podcasts so if you are in the market for a USB microphone to record or you know whatever you're trying to do this I highly recommend and it was only 50 bucks which compared to like a lot of the other ones I saw was not bad at all and it was super easy I literally just plugged it into my computer and I was was able to record over my videos and I was shocked at how easy it was because I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than that so I highly recommend this and it came with this cute little stand and you guys my audio if you have watched my other videos you will hear when I do my voiceovers my audio is fairly clear so that is definitely a plus so I wanted to share that with you guys because doing YouTube that's my first time ever doing voiceovers and I just love this device 
my next things I'm going to share with you are beauty. If you guys watched my vlog, then you will know that I was saying I wanted to start getting into learning how to really do my makeup really well. And so I purchased some brushes and I basically went on a Sephora haul and purchased a bunch of Fenty Beauty stuff. A lot of the stuff I just have not had time to play in yet, like the bronzer and the concealer and the lip glosses, but I have been able to use, you guys, the primer. First of all, oh my goodness, game changer. It just makes my skin not feel dry, not feel oily at all. And I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's this that makes, or maybe it's the brush because those are all three of things that I'm about to show you that are like, I'm obsessed. I will never buy another foundation again, you guys. And I love MAC. I love my Too Faced foundation, but Riri outdid herself. Like shout out to her because this primer is amazing. This foundation, I again, will never buy another foundation. Amazing. And I got the shade 490. I think I told you guys, or not 490. What did I get? 430, sorry. Not 490, 430. And I'm really glad because I told you guys that Sephora had the, um, like shade matcher on their website and it told me to get like 450 or 440 and I decided to go some shades lighter and if you can't you can see like I love how this looks on my face and it definitely matches my skin tone so you guys I highly recommend she has shades for every single skin tone that you can think of and the last thing is her brush now as you guys can see I've been using this thing so so much but I love this brush I told you guys in my vlog that I never invested in like high-end brushes I was just using a beauty blender and again I don't know if it's the primer I don't know if it's the foundation or it's this brush but I love the way this makeup has been applying to my face so I highly recommend if you are in the market for a new foundation or if you just have been on the fence about trying Minty Beauty products that you definitely definitely try out the foundation the primer and her brushes all 10 out of 10 you guys okay and this is another beauty staple and it is my flat iron so i don't flat iron my hair often just because you know with natural hair i don't want to get heat damage so that is also another reason why i was so skeptical about going natural and not getting my extensions and not getting frontals for a year because if you guys don't know i am trying to learn how to better care for my natural hair and love my natural hair and embrace it and so in doing that i have to find all these different styles and i really do not like to manip manipulate my hair um, and straighten it too too often but when i do because i have thick 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 coarse long hair you guys this eap heat hair straightener is bomb it gets my hair so straight and like i said i have kinky hair i have curly hair i have very thick coarse hair and this is like going to the dominicans for a blowout i let my mom straighten my hair with this maybe um sometime earlier this month and it got my hair so so straight so if i never want to have to go to the beauty salon to get my hair straightened and i want to save a few bucks this hair straightener is it so if you're in the market for a new hair straightener i would definitely suggest this hair straightener i believe i paid maybe a hundred dollars but i also think that i got it when it was on sale so you guys might want to check on that i'll make sure i leave the link for this if i can so that you guys can check this out because this is definitely a game changer especially if you have very thick coarse hair it will get your hair super straight and you don't have to like go pull by pull and go through your hair like four and five times you could probably do it twice you might not even need to do it twice but you could probably do it twice and that's it and i also got their heat protectant spray and that is really good as well because like i said i'm trying to make sure that i don't get heat damage and damage my curls from straightening my hair which i don't do too often but when i do i do want to protect my hair and their heat protectant is really really good as well the next thing i want to show you guys is some clothing that i got obviously we're not going anywhere you guys but I feel like once it is time to go somewhere I want to look cute so I went on a little splurge and I bought some clothes and this is probably the favorite thing that I bought it is from Pink Lily and it is like this romper this peach color first of all I just feel like looks so good up against my skin I should have probably did a try on haul but so you guys can see it on me but oh well you can kind of get the picture right here and it has these like tie to go on your shoulders you tie it which i thought was like a cute little detail so it's going to be like a little tie on their shoulders and i'm just obsessed with this color i'm obsessed with the scrunch top and then 
it's not tight it's like a wide leg which i absolutely love and i also got this in lavender and i got this in like a skyish blue color you guys i went a little crazy but i got all three because i just love this i think it is so cute and something so simple i don't really like to wear super tight clothes so this was just perfect for me and i will link this if i can pink lily has other really really cute items so if you guys have not heard of them before you should definitely check them out the next thing is this bag i've been wanting a book bag purse for the longest i am so not a purse person you guys maybe this makes me not very <laughs> feminine but i'm just i've never really been into purses very much but i love this purse it's small enough for me and i hate really having like the purse on my shoulder because i've had so many times where my purses the strap like breaks and it's just more comfortable to just like throw on your back especially for like running errands and when i have a kid and i'm having to get the, my kid out of the car or whatever the case is i can throw this on my back rather than having it on my side and then having elena on my side this bag can be on my back it's small enough but you guys it's deep enough like it has more than enough space you see all those zippers and all those pockets to be able to fit a lot of stuff into and this is just a great quick on the go bag i got this from amazon um the little ball didn't come on it i got this from walmart but i just thought that was a cute accessory to go on it and i believe this bag was like 20 dollars, so not bad at all and just really cute and i think just a really cute staple i know these like book bag purses are like the in thing now and i've been wanting one for a really long time so i'm really glad that i found this on amazon and the next thing because how could you have an august favorites and be in the middle of this pandemic and your favorite thing not be a mask right because masks are like the new fashion so i just wanted to show you guys these because not that i'm not really going anywhere too much i am working from home thank goodness but when i do need to go to run an errand like maybe go to walmart because i actually feel a little bit more comfortable going in walmart now because you are required to wear a mask so if i go in walmart or whatever i need to do running the gas station whatever I have my mask and my mom made these she is so talented and so here is one and I got so many compliments on me and Elena's matching frozen ones that again my mom also made so I just had to add a mask into my August favorites because masks are a part of our new normal for right now the last two things that I want to show you guys as part of my August favorites are some things that have helped, have helped me with mothering and parenting Elena and teaching her. So these are going to be toddler slash mom favorites. The first is this reward chart that I got from Amazon and I just recently posted about this on Instagram. You guys, I'm not kidding. I really think the terrible shoes start early because... I don't know who my kid is right now. She's like a totally different person. She's like so much sassier and has just so much independence. She does not want me to help her with anything. She gets so frustrated if I try to help her do anything. And it was driving me a little insane. I'm not going to lie. And so I asked a bunch of my friends who are moms who have older children how they dealt with like this new defiance slash independence that kids start to get. And they said, you know, try a reward system. So... I am going to channel her new independence into some, some responsibility. So I bought this reward chart. It is super cute. They have a bunch of different designs on Amazon. They have some for girls. They have some for boys. They have some that will incorporate multiple kids if you have more than one child. And it's just really cute. So it has all the days of the week. And then on the side, you're going to put their chores. So for example, Elena's has like help me take the laundry out of the dryer. It has to wash her hands. It has to brush her teeth to uh, put her toys up, things like that. And, you know, every day that they do it, you'll put like a little X or a chart. And at the bottom, it has what their reward will be. So um, Elena's reward will be a toy. And the goal is like how many times you want them to do whatever before they can get their reward. And then you have their total. So I just thought this was really cute and a really cute way of you know keeping her organized keeping her responsible and still letting her have her independence and letting her feel like she was doing things on her own and the last thing that i want to show you guys is a gift that elena got from my aunt and i believe this is from amazon i'm not 100 sure so i might not be able to link this one but i'm sure that you can find something similar to this at amazon or on amazon and this again is a game changer elena is somewhat more advanced for her age and she's like able to remember certain things that I feel like a 19 month old kid should not remember so I've started trying to teach her her letters her colors etc and this thing is perfect 
because it has everything. It has like these cute little letters and she's very much a like tactile kid. She needs to touch things and she wants to play with things. So these are very helpful and you know, I show her and I'm like, oh, oh, and I say it over and over again and she likes to hold it. And then it also can help with colors because all of them are different colors. So if you even wanna take it further, then you can do it that way. And I just feel like this is also really good because it will grow with her as she grows. So I can take these activities and make them more challenging as she learns more and as she gets older. So it can go from basic to intermediate to expert, etc. And it also comes, which I think is really cool, with flashcards. So on one side, there is like this animal or like an object and it has the O, if you guys can see that, sorry, trying to focus. But the cool thing is that it also can go inside there, which she loves to do this. She loves to be able to try to fit these letters into <laughs> the shape that it is. And it, again, there's the color there. You can, like I said, you can go intermediate with this. So you're teaching her the letter. You're te you can teach her the sound and say, O says, uh, 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 owl. And then you're teaching her the animal, you're teaching her a letter, you're teaching her a color, you're teaching her, I mean, it's amazing. You're teaching her even like her shape, how to fit things into the um, card. And then on the back, like I said, again, able to go even further and challenge them even further as they grow and learn more. On the back, there's even more on the flashcard. So there is other letters that, so, I mean, not letters, other objects that start with the letter O. So there's an onion, there's an orange, there's an octopus, etc. And you can just go through this with your kid and it's so great. And I, you guys, I love this. This has been so helpful to me. And so if you're in the market for something like this, I would highly recommend Amazon. And again, I believe this is from Amazon, you guys, but I'm not 100% sure. I will try to ask my aunt or try to find a link to this, but I'm sure Amazon has something similar to this. So you guys, that is it for my August favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed some of these things. I hope that you were interested in buying some of these things. So I guess this wasn't really a motivational sit down video, but it kind of was because now I'm motivating you guys to go spend some money, but it will be on things that will make you happy, things that will help make your life easier, etc. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that I can know to continue to create this type of content. Make sure you guys check out Mia's video as well. And if you again are here from Mia's channel, I thank you so much and I would love if you hit that red subscribe button and join my fempire here on YouTube. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.